Hey FIFA Mobile fans and welcome to our very first Dev Talk. My name is Timo, gameplay producer, and I'll be sharing some of the new and exciting gameplay features coming to you this update. For the first big update, we are really focusing on the control and depth of passing. Based on testing and analysis, we are adding four new pass types into the game. Previously, when trying to make a ground or ground through pass, they would often get intercepted by nearby defenders. This is why we're introducing the dink passes to FIFA Mobile, allowing you to be more successful from close to mid-range. The dink ground pass is slightly more elevated, making it much harder for defenders to predict and launch the appropriate tackle or block. The dink through pass also adds this additional height to its trajectory, making it harder to be intercepted or blocked. Use these passes in close to mid-range when a defender is nearby or blocking the passing path to your teammate who's making a run towards goal. Next are the driven passes. First, there's the driven ground pass, which is powerful and fast, allowing you to thread the needle in tight spaces. To balance this, your teammate has to put in a little bit more effort controlling these passes. This is determined by his ball control attribute, relative position, and speed. The driven law pass is a new pass type to pass to teammates quickly. Its low and driven trajectory is the fastest way to switch to play and shift the defensive positioning. Additionally, to complement these new pass types, we've added yet another traditional FIFA mechanic into the game. Call play a run. It allows you to send a teammate who doesn't possess the ball to make a run towards the goal. In combination with improvements and bug fixes to the passing logic, we believe this will help you to be more successful and break down the defense in new ways. With these next level gameplay controls and improvements, you can find new ways to play and be successful. Thank you to the community for your ongoing support, feedback, and love for the game. Thank you and see you in the next Dev Talk.